Our next speaker tonight is a lifelong learner, artist, and foodie who owns an internet marketing and design company. She's been at Toastmaster for six years. Please welcome Annie Wall. I'm here to talk about speaking in public. The bar is high, really high. My palms are sweating. I'm nervous. No, not really. You see, I used to be really afraid of public speaking. Early in my career, when I worked at GE, I had a very poor speaking experience. I was a brand new hire, new in the field, and didn't know the first thing about giving a successful speech. So while I was physically in front of my peers giving my regional sales presentation, my energy was floating way up there. No matter what I did, I could not focus on the matter at hand. I was simply terrified. I then spent the next 25 years avoiding public speaking at all costs. Please don't do the math. So <laughs> what happened? How did I get from being red-faced with heart palpitations to being very comfortable in front of all of you here. And why would I think that any of what I have to say would be of value to you? The what happened. Eight years ago, a friend of mine dragged me to a Toastmaster club. It took me two more years to go back to a club, but I haven't looked back. You see, in finding my public speaking voice, I found my true voice. This is what you do in Toastmasters. You do find your voice. It's what we do. So in the process of finding your voice, you find out that maybe you weren't fine. Maybe your business relationships and your personal relationships weren't so great. But Toastmasters was a positive, disruptive influence in my life. With Toastmasters, I was able to improve my personal relationships, improve my business as a sales, and sharpen my negotiation skills. These are all tasks that we learn, but best is that I learned how to master the art of offering opposing viewpoints without alienation. These are skills that we don't learn, but they're vital life skills. They're skills that those who master go farther. I'd like to take the next couple of minutes to talk about Toastmasters. There's 12 clubs in the Ann Arbor area. There are corporate clubs, open community clubs, specialty clubs like the LGBT Friendly Club and Ann Arbor Center for Independent Living Club. Clubs meet all times and days. Club members are incredibly friendly and supportive. In each club, you learn, in each meeting, you learn about, you give, you give public speeches. This is where you're obviously practicing your public speaking muscle. There will be a member listening to that speech. They will be listening with critical listening skills, and they will offer an evaluation, and here is where you learn mindful, thoughtful, tactful responses. There's also table topics. This is where you're given a random topic, you're, you're asked to think about it for a few seconds, and then you speak for two minutes. This is where you learn the art of schmoozing. In each meeting, there are communication and leadership opportunities. Toastmasters is the very best value for professional development. You learn leadership skills, communication skills, and negotiation skills. Evidenced by the fact that I am now here, thoroughly grounded, speaking in front of you today. If this is of interest to you, I do suggest that you find a club that you like, go visit a few different clubs, find one that resonates, go a few times. If it seems to fit, join. I'd like to ask all the Toastmasters in the audience to raise their hands. 
Keep them raised, please. These are the folks that if you are interested, you should feel free to ask anything of, including myself. I leave you on the note that Toastmasters has radically improved my life, and it could yours as well. Thank you.